Last year, several masterworks from LACMA's American Art Collection went on loan to Korea for the exhibition Art Across America that presented the opportunity to rethink the way this gallery was installed. When we started researching the collection, we noticed that there was an overwhelming majority of paintings dealing with the East Coast landscape, while there were less paintings dealing with the West Coast landscape. So we wanted to tease out alternative readings of the collection, playing with different methodologies of display. On the eastern wall of the gallery, we installed chronologically all the paintings dealing with the East Coast or paintings by artists strongly associated to the East. And on the opposite wall, the Western wall of the gallery, we installed the five paintings representing the Western landscape. We installed them uh, sharing the same horizon line. This horizon line is always uh, an elusive concept as elusive as the very concept of the West, that is the last frontier, the ever-shifting border. Then we went to the photography collection, and the situation is quite the opposite. Most of the photographs in the 19th century are documenting the Western landscape, and there are less photographs concerned with the East. So we reproduce that tension, that paradox on that wall. As an organizational principle, we have this axis in the center of the gallery with Thomas Aikin's wrestlers, and at the center of the gallery we have a compass from 1856 that we borrowed from the Autry Museum. So we wanted to have that sense of orientation, an instrument that was used to chart territories and to make maps and to identify uh, mines and locations in the 19th century aligned with the wrestlers, one of the masterworks in our collection, but also a painting that was finished in 1899. So in a way, the tension, the struggle between these two wrestlers stands for the struggle and the tension that were at stake at the turn of the century. So in a way, that struggle stands for the struggle between photography and painting, between tradition and modernity, between West and East.